I think so. Okay. Oh. I think I see one. I think it, there's a black right there, Jen. <laughs> see it? Oh. We just need some scissors and we should be able to get that out. Thanks. Hi, welcome to New at Two this week. It's Janet Ashley, and we want to talk to you about thread storage. As you just saw, Brenda was showing you how horrible <laughs> this pink bucket is. When we moved from the south side to our new location, we literally took all of our floor sample thread and we threw it in a bucket because mm -hmm. it was just the easiest thing to do and we were in a rush. But as you can see, it is... <laughs> it's kind of a mess. It's a big mess because when you need something, you can dig around for it and it's like, where's the end? <laughs> Or you can just cut it and lose all that thread. Which we've had to do from time to time. Mm -hmm. We need to get it more organized. I'm still um, planning on getting that done here at this location. I hope other stores have a better thread storage than I do right now. <laughs> I, I promise you it was very organized before we moved and we just went back around to getting it organized again. But we have thread storage solutions for you mm -hmm. because I know you don't want this kind of mess at your house. Oh and, gosh. And they get so many different colors of thread, you have to have a way to store it. Mm -hmm. So one of those ways is this one right here. This is the RNK Easy Access Thread Rack, and it can hold 60 spools on here. Nice. Yeah, it's part of, if you buy the Great Wall of Thread, Uh huh. It has 360 spools in it, so you would get six, of those. six racks plus the 360 spools of thread so that you have somewhere to, to put it all. It's nice. a wonderful tool to have, and you can see all those bright, pretty colors out there so you know exactly what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. This is, But we sell the thread racks by themselves, so you know any kind of comb will fit on that little spindle that you see inside there. Nice. But this is a really great way to do it, so this might be a good solution for you. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I've got some other thread storage. This one is also from R and K. Okay. And what I like about this one is the drawers Ooh. come out, so they stack. You know the nice thing about that? What's that? That little piece of foam in there. Mm -hmm. If you set it on top of your cones, once your cones are in there, then they don't rattle around while you're traveling with That's it. That's true. That's true. That is very handy. And you can put 15 spools of thread in here, mm -hmm. so 30 total in one box. So we have this kind of box, and we also have this kind, which has dividers in it, so mm -hmm. that if you wanted to put your tools, maybe snips or seam rippers or there we go. whatever else you want in there, they have two different kinds here. The other thing I like about them is because they stack and the drawers come out, unlike having to get something out and pop the <laughs> lid off the top, and it's always the bucket that's on the bottom uh -huh. that you need. This makes that so that if you need something on the bottom, you can still get to it, no problem. Nice. So we do have those available too. I've had some folks that buy a whole bunch of them and oh, they're yeah. super organized. We also have the Be Sewing Sewing Box. Nice. Can you see in there the little thread rack? Mm hmm Okay, so let me get this off of here, Ashley. So we I have a lovely see. picture too. Oh, we do have a lovely picture. See the lovely picture? Looky there. Let me slide this off of here. My hand's not wide enough to put that off. I think someone taped it on there. <laughs> but you have a place to store your thread on the little spindles so that when you are traveling with it, or sometimes my traveling with my sewing is going from my sewing room to the couch so I can watch a movie mm -hmm. while I'm doing some handwork. And instead of me having to bring a pile in my hands and the cats don't play with it, if I just bring my little thread box and sewing kit out there, I have it all in one place. Yeah. So that's one cool way to do that. We have it in two different sizes. Okay. We have the small one and the large one. Nice. And then OESD also has a thread stacker. You can see the pictures on the back right there. Yeah. This one is hermetically sealed. <laughs> but you can store all of your thread in here. And they lay down in this box. Nice. And it has the little handle on top. So it's a really great way to be able to store your cones of thread in there. And these all snap together. And if you want yep. more, you can get more. That's right. So that's another really great one. And then we also have this sewing kit right here. This is kind of a traditional sewing kit okay. where it is a little basket. Oh, okay. so just Closing your fingers in there. Not, it didn't hurt me. It's a little <laughs> basket. It has a little pocket here that you could put your little snips or put your seam ripper down in there. Perfect. Place to put your pins. And then it also has the tray so you can sort out all your different little goodies in here. Yeah. But that's a really great way. My daughter has a, a sewing basket kind of like this and she uses it all the time. And you know, they're a great thing to have. If you don't have a sewing kit or maybe if yours is old and tattered, mm -hmm. you might want to get a new sewing kit. 
We have yeah. some other storage solutions. You want to hear about those? Yeah, tell me. Okay. So, Ashley, before um, I was given this lovely chain for my birthday, what happened with my glasses all the time? Um, you would throw them in the floor. Well, I would throw them in the floor. <laughs> but I had them tucked in my shirt, and every time I'd lean forward, they'd fall they'd off. They'd fall off. And then the most common thing you would hear me saying around here is, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? <laughs> and how often were they in my pocket? <laughs> Yeah, it's, I think the team was really tired of hearing me ask for my glasses, so I got, I got this as a Christmas, I mean a birthday gift, so it was very helpful. Yes. We also have glasses cases. I'm not mm -hmm. one of those people that needs my glasses on all day long. I only need it to see up close, mm -hmm. like at the cash register or if I'm reading something to help somebody. But this is nice too because I, I have extra sets of reading glasses, so if I wanted to put that in my sewing room, how pretty is that to store them so they're not getting dusty or they're not getting run off um, by the cat or something? You can match your so, K-Facet Bernina. That's right. If you have a K-Facet Bernina, who, or even if you don't have a K-Facet Bernina, you can have a K-Facet glasses case. Heck yeah. And these are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love the thimbles. I've shown them to you before. But we now have it in gold also. That is awesome. The gold is really wonderful. Looks just like that white one. I always have pencils or crochet hooks or just a whole bunch of things that I just need to mm -hmm. have easy to grab. And this would be a great gift. So if you are looking for somebody that seems to have everything sewing, if they don't have a giant thimble, they don't have everything. <laughs> We also have some storage bags here that this is called Gingham on the Go. It's a three-piece project bag set, so you get three different sizes of them. These are all folded in half. So, so they're actually double imagine, that size. They're double this size. Nice. And it's a great way to be able to store your different projects. Um, I tend to sometimes just let stuff get piled on top of each other. Oh, gosh. And you don't remember what pieces went where. And I know. I always, I'm always so pleased with myself because I'm a pretty organized person. And yet, somehow I let my sewing room, it's the creative side of me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's, it's super creative in my sewing room. Right? Very creative. I like that. We're not messy, we're creative. Very creative. <laughs> we also have some bags. We have um, this one, which is a really pretty floral bag, so that you can um, store all sorts of different goodies inside here. It has pockets. Yeah. So that you can store the different things in it. Your feet and notions and feet goodies. notions and things, yes. So if you go to like a sewing group or if you're out at mm -hmm. a quilt retreat, a good way to carry your things. And then we also have some other bags here that Baby Lock has created. This one is a little notions kit. How cute! It's got, it's got the little um, mesh so that you can tuck things in there. You can tuck different tools over here. Got a little nice. pocket over here. So that one's a super fun one. This, believe it or not, is the same thing that this one is, but it's in the Genuine Collection print. Isn't it pretty? Fun! We have this in um, the Notions. We have it in the... Trolleys, trolley, in the cover. In a dust cover. And then so, there's the bag that's the same print, but a different color. Right, but it's so pretty. You don't have to own a Genuine Collection machine to have a beautiful bag. Mm -hmm. I like fun colors. Nothing wrong with black. I wear black every day. There we go. Would it, would it look good if we had... If we had outfits that looked like this? I, I don't know if that color would look good on me, but... <laughs> We'd be recognizable. Oh, yes. <laughs> we also have this one. This is a blue fig bag that, again, it has pockets in it and ways to store it. You nice. Know, I have one of these that I use for my toiletry bag when Ooh. I go on trips. I was just thinking the same thing about the little baby lock one. I'm like, oh, I could fit my lipstick in one of those little tubes and my mascara. And <laughs> I mean, yes, we have all things sewing, but we have multi-purpose things. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have multi-purpose things. Okay, so I've shown you some really great ways for us to be able to avoid this mess over here. Okay, what color do you need me to find, Ashley? Um, how about a purple? Purple? Oh. I said that because I don't see one. Do you want it to be a purple embroidery thread? Oh gosh, good luck finding purple anything. Here's purple. <laughs> good thing you have scissors around your neck. Oh, look, that one came out. Oh, look at that. Okay, give me another color. <laughs> um, orange. Orange. Um, <laughs> I'm picking hard ones. This is such a not good way to store this. How would like a gold work? That, that'll work for me. Oh, look, that one's free. But this one's not. I'm telling you, this is not the way to do it. 
get some thread storage, get some storage for all your other things to help your life be more organized. I can promise you it's so much easier to be creative whenever you are not fighting the battle of where's my stuff? Where is my stuff? And can I lay my hands on it right now? We have so many great specials on things during the Christmas holidays. If you're looking for that last minute stocking stuffer, or maybe you need a gift for Aunt Sally, or maybe your daughter is into sewing and she needs a great way to keep things together, mm -hmm. we will help you stuff that little notion bag Ooh. and get you on your way. It's, it's a great way to just add some fun cheer in the sewing world. And we'd love to help you out with that. All of our stores are going to have these items. So if you want to come shopping in Oklahoma City, Tulsa, mm -hmm. Springfield, Fayetteville, Muskogee, or Humble, we have the goods for you. Yes. And we want you all to have such a fun Christmas and we can make that fun for you. We also do free gift wrapping. I have to know Ashley is an incredibly great gift wrapper. <laughs> I love to wrap presents. <laughs> oh, she does. And it's really good. <laughs> As always, we would love for you to do three things for us. Yes, if you can like, like, share, share, and comment. And comment. That is how we get the word out about our wonderful store. We have new customers coming in every day. We appreciate you sharing this with the world. Mm -hmm. We just want to keep on growing and keep on bringing you the best products. Thanks for joining us for New It Too, and we will see you 